All right, so we're at the historic Picton Airport. You can see Mount, uh, Picton Airport back there, the drag races, arm drops are going on. Found some cool stuff in this old junkyard. We're just uh, exploring this for a leave. A couple aircraft wings off of something. I think I can make use of those. I'd love to have those end drop tanks. Those would be a cool rat rod with wheels on it and that small engine. Sweet. All right, we found a six cylinder engine, standard transmission. Yeah, maybe Chevy, not sure. Maybe someone could tell me. Some building junk over there in the horizon. Sweet. Yeah, we found a pile of uh, old dolls. One, <laughs> one's dressed up in a wedding dress. Well, we are in Picton, so you never know, right? They know what they say about the county boys. <laughs> I just don't know. That's just, yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> All right. I don't know if we're going to find anything really old in here, but there's some cool stuff. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. An old Pepsi machine. No one was here today. I'd be taking that home. That looks cool. It's not that old, but it's cool. All right. So there's a few old hit and, hits, hit and miss engines in here. Oh, I see one anyway. Something with the governor. Oh, that is cool. I don't know what it is. Um, it's in pieces, though. I'm going to say that would be only for parts. I see there's no cool rod in there, so the... The piston's probably out of there. That is cool. Look at the size of that chain. This is like the cool spot. The older section. And this here is just neat. If I can find a way to get that back to the truck for a leave, I'm taking it. I don't know if it's part of this. I don't think so. There's a big old flywheel and yeah, I don't know what that is, eh Lena? Little red flyer wagon. Something. This is awesome. Yeah, that would be so neat to have. Just even sitting in the lawn. Some kind of governor. Just never know what you're going to see in here. Old hospital bed or something. I don't have a use for it. That's kind of cool. American something company. Oh, anyway. Let's go. I see an old car or something back there. Look at the scrap metal here. That's nice tubing. Probably out of one of these factories in here. Look at the steel in here. I could use... I'd take all these home. I could use those. That'd be good. I don't know what else is back in here. It looks like some kind of stage. Let's get in there and check that out. Some kind of mold or something. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. Strange. But, yeah, lots of steel in here. Just laying here. Okay, it must have been some kind of play set. From a theater or something. My son says that's a dragon. Is a tail. I can kind of see it, or a dinosaur. I'm not sure what it is. That'd be cool to get that and just bring it home. There's a fake tree. It must have been a movie set or something. I have no idea. Look here, he says, there's a king set. You got jewels in it now. It looks like it might have been a ship or something. There's a sail, I think, right there. No idea. I'm not sure what this stuff is either. Looks cool, though. Okay, I definitely want got an aircraft wheel and a drop tank of some type right there. I think it's a drop tank or gas tank. Maybe not Maybe not a drop tank, but it's a gas tank off an aircraft. Definitely. I think it's a gas tank anyway. Something like that. It looks like it. There's two of them here. I want it. Okay, that's a, definitely an old chandelier of some type. Out of uh, the military base. Looks like they're covering it up. Maybe not. A bunch of plastic glass beads. This thing, I don't know how old it is. It's kind of neat. Okay, some kind of funky furniture someone made. These are kind of cool. Excellent. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Got me, guys. That looks like a cross on that one. Some kind of bench. Yeah, no idea, but kind of funky and cool. All right, someone did something here. I don't know what this is. It's made out of an old drop tank. I want it. I want this. It must have been a display or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Looks like computer fans. No idea how to get it. I'll talk to my buddy. This is cool. I want this. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I want it. I'm going to put it on my front lawn or something. That's awesome. The old hit and miss engines. Guys, tell me what this is. I have no idea what it is. I don't know why it's here. Bunch of gears in there. 
There's another one there. Another hit and miss or something. Yeah. Atlas. Really old that thing. And that is some kind of grinder. Not sure. That looks old, really old too. Found a signal flare, marine signal pack. I don't know if they work. We're gonna try them later. And we got this old flathead engine. This is really old. This could be from World War II, this one. This is an old military base. Though. And got another old flyhead. Actually, that's not a flyhead. What am I talking about? Overhead valves, push rods on top. No idea what it is. I'm not sure how to get this stuff. I'm going to find out. That trailer is really cool, too. And it's got the old... These look like old bomber. This used to be a training military base. So this looks like old bomber wheels. They're neat. All kinds of these. I lost my son. I have to go find him. He's over there somewhere. Neat. Bunch of old bottles. Must be a bottle dump here somewhere. You can see some glass on the ground there. Broken bits and pieces. Alright, this place gets weirder and weirder. There's an old wagon wheels and cross. Must be stuff off floats or something. That's about all I can think. We got an old international truck in there. We're going to go see. Yes. Alright, it appears to be... I'm not an expert. An international truck, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty cool. It's got pepper with some bird shot. Four-wheel drive, even. Awesome. Seen better days, though. Still, it's all there. Pieces of it, anyway. Watch out for bees' nest, buddy. Oh, the floors are rotten. Typical, typical Canadian truck. Um, manufactured by International Harvester Company. I'm not sure where that is. It probably says in there somewhere. Probably the VIN number will tell you. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. Cool. Standard. I'm going to guess late 60s, early 70s. It's got uh, clearance lights like Tankenstein. It probably had a big winch on the front. Doesn't have it now. Uh, V8. That's cool. She's pretty far gone though. Still cool. You hear the guys in the background. All right, so well, it wasn't very exciting, but we're gonna come back when we can see more into the bush here. There's a trail that goes even farther, but we didn't really even scratch the surface. But we'll come back. It's a bunch of old aircraft tires and that. Alright guys, talk to you guys later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Talk to you later.